Hello, everyone. Hey everyone, if you don't know who I am, my name is Anthony, and oh my god, I left my pen on the floor that I was going to use to unbox this. Anyway, I know it's been a while, I wanted to do an unboxing of, you guessed it, oh my god, hopefully you guys don't see my address, my new iPhone. Okay, so let's get started. And by the way, I don't know how this video is going to turn out, I am recording on the Galaxy S20 FE, and this is the front facing camera, so I'm doing like just regular 1080p HD and I think it's 30 frames a second so let me know if you guys like the colors and stuff because I don't want to use my whole camera setup because you know I haven't done that in a while and anyway let's just go into it here's the package packaged very poorly look that's all they put just like one two of these little paper things with literally like a slab of glue I don't know what this is Oh, yeah, that's good. Cool. Anyway, there's that. And here, whoo, I haven't held a box like this in so long. Here is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is just the base model, the 128 gigs, because I'm a broke bitch and who has like $1,200 to spend on a phone. Actually, with tax and everything, this was close to $1,200. It was, so it starts at $1,199. And with the Utah tax, it is like $1,184. So pretty much $1,200 for a phone. This is probably gonna be the last one I get because who has money for that? Um, and I wanted to compare it to my iPhone 7 Plus um, just cause, just cause I wanna see the big difference. Um, and then I'm also gonna be putting these on there. We'll get to that later. It's a clear case and then some cheap ass screen protector because like I said, who has money for that? So here we go. Like I said, this is in silver. And also, sorry, one more thing before we get into it. I wanted to unbox this on my bed because I feel like I don't like that whole formal scene in the whole tech world. It's kind of like, like, I mean, I get it. Like you're reviewing something, you know, but also it's just not for me. So here we go. The box is pretty cool. It's massive. Um, and yeah. Whoa. Whew, okay. Okay, I, I should have shown it to the camera first, but um, I saw it first, so you guys are going to have to deal with it. There it is. I'm also going to do some close-up shots, some cool B-roll with this. This is freaking, like, wow. Okay, so there's the phone. Oh, my God, I love the silver. The silver is so amazing. It feels so premium. I feel like more so than the blue. If you got the blue, bite me. Uh, but no, this silver is really awesome and I was afraid that the Apple logo wouldn't show because in videos It kind of just blurs in with the rest of the white, but it's very clearly visible in person. I don't know if you guys can see that um, But wow, I, I wanted the silver because I feel like it gives the most contrast with the cameras and the cameras just look amazing It looks really cool. Anyway, you guys already know we get in the box that little package that nobody reads the Apple sticker that nobody needs and then this cable uh, that is pretty much useless to everyone because we all have the old uh, connector. So I'm just going to put that in the box. The box is pretty cool because it's thinner, you know. But uh, I would rather have a charger than a thinner box. Uh, and that whole environmental thing is bullshit to me, if you ask me. Uh, it's obviously a way for, because Apple is obviously a for-profit company, they're going to look for ways to um, to make more money, to make more profit with every iPhone sold. Um, so obviously, like, the, the environmental thing is cool or whatever because like i'm all about that but at the same time it's a bullshit excuse for what they did and that's my opinion so let's go ahead and rip this off it's just paper this time i think it's like a it's coated with something it's not just plain paper um but yeah it's pretty cool here we go <laughs> okay that was more satisfying than the previous um like what is it called the plastic ones because the plastic was like really thick and it wasn't really stuck on there this like i said it has some sort of like not sticky, but like a different coating on the back. So it like made it stick to the phone a little better. I don't know. It was more satisfying. Probably one of the best or most satisfying iPhone unboxings that I've done in a while. Um, except for that missing charging block. And wow, it's it's big. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell. Here's my iPhone 7. Let me give it a wipe down. My iPhone 7 Plus. So this is a 5.5 inch screen versus a 6.7 inch screen. Um, the bodies are almost the same though. Let me turn this on so we can see like a, a comparison. 
Uh, one thing that I haven't seen people talk about too much is the 5G antenna. They all mention it, but they don't say how ugly it is. Like it obviously interrupts the cool seamless design of, of the stainless steel. And that's annoying to me. I don't like it. Uh, but what can you do? You know, uh, I feel like it, it reminds me of like the, um, the iPod touches, like big, massive cutout right there. The plastic cutout, it's just hideous. Like it's ugly, but you know, I guess functionality. Wow. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. And I know some of you guys are going to comment, that's what you said, but it's, it's huge. Like the 0.2 inches that you get, uh, um, this year versus the 6.5 inch iPhone 11 Pro Max that I did used to have is, is noticeable. And you wouldn't think so because it's just, you know, 0.2 inches, but then let's compare it to the previous plus model. And there's a huge difference. Um, let me turn this down a little so you can actually see. I do miss touch ID. That's why I have a seven plus. But um, anyway, point is, the screen size is obviously big um, and it's nice. It's not like, I mean, like when I say it's massive, I do mean that it's massive, but it's not like unmanageable and I can, I, I, I can use it with one hand. I don't have like the biggest hands. Um, I think I'm like five, eight, five, seven, maybe even five, six. I know that's like a big interval of numbers, but uh, I don't know. So. Five, six to five eight so like i said my hands aren't that big and i can still like use it with one hand it's comfortable um maybe not to reach the control center but um that has never been comfortable ever since they put it up there so i'm not complaining uh i love this phone let's go ahead and put on the cases i'm gonna do some some b-roll shots of the case too this one's the pivot uh aspect clear case i got it from best buy it's just a regular clear case nothing special about it really um Oh, and I forgot to mention, I love the new corners, the flat edges. It, it looks cool, and it's definitely going to be awesome for B-roll because now you don't have to worry about putting something behind to, like, stand the phone up. Um, now it can stand by itself. So here we go. I'm going to put it in before I mess up the... You know how you get, like, dust in the case? I already got some dust in the case. But... I got this case because I really loved it, like, out of all the other ones. There wasn't that much to choose from from Best Buy. I was originally going to choose... Um, one of the original like iPhone cases, but I didn't want to pay $60 for a leather case that turned ugly over time. So I was just like, nah, I'll just get a, a clear case. And I found this one um, and it, it looks good. So there's that. You can obviously see the beautiful iPhone color. Um, I, I will put the screen protector on, but later I don't want to do that on camera because I'm on my bed and there's a lot of like little dust particles here. So I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for my iPhone 12 Pro Max unboxing. And that is in the silver color. So if you guys liked it, subscribe. I'm going to be posting probably not tech videos necessarily, but I will be posting uh, some other videos that I'm interested in. So if you want to check it out, if you like this unboxing, subscribe, leave a comment, like, you know, all that stuff. So until the next one, see you guys.